Today I'm going to be showing you what slow motion settings I use for the Sony a6400 as well as the Sony a7R3. Coming up. What's up guys, C here with another episode of What The F Stop. Today we're gonna to be talking about the slow motion settings that I use to shoot video with the Sony a6400 as well as the Sony a7R3. Now, both cameras are fairly similar in terms of the menus that they have available. However, uh, of course they have different sensor sizes um, and megapixels and different things like that. Now, when you are shooting in 4K format, there are a couple things that you need to know if you wanna get the highest uh, resolution possible. Now, when you're shooting with 120 frames per second, one of the biggest things that you got to make sure of is that you are getting the highest uh, video quality that your cam your camera is capable of getting. So, with the Sony A6400, it's really important for you to always shoot in the Super 35 millimeter, which is going to be um, the if you're shooting 4K, uh, that's going to be the 100 m 100 mega mix, um, and if you are shooting in uh, 1080p that's going to be the 100 um, megabits also now you want to make sure that you have a card that is uh, fast enough to actually be able to handle those speeds now whenever I started shooting um, slow motion video and I was wondering why my video quality wasn't as good and that's because I was shooting at a lower resolution then I really need to have to get the highest quality video um, that was possible. So whenever I tweaked my settings, I was able to get a couple of video captures um, just to see exactly what this Sony a6400 could do with slow motion settings. Now I have made a video before, I put it up here in the cards, I have made a video of what the slow motion would actually look like out of the Sony a6400. Uh, I haven't really released a video showing the Sony a7R3 per se, but I have released a video with slow motion in it uh, that I did shoot with the Sony a7R III and I use these same settings um, that I'm gonna show you today. Now, one of the things that you can make sure of is that you get the correct SD card, like I said earlier. You wanna get the one that has the little U and the three on it, and it'll tell you on the back if it's able uh, to capture 4K video. One thing about these cameras is that they will tell you if you are not uh, capable of capturing that whatever setting footage. So. So if you are planning on shooting 120 frames per second on the Sony a6400, you need to make sure that you have that higher speed card. Now, the settings that I use on the uh, Sony a6400 when I'm shooting slow motion is I shoot it at 120 frames per second in 1080p uh, with 100 megabits. Now, what that's gonna give you is the highest possible quality at the uh, lower resolution. So a lot of times we kind of get ourselves into this mode where we want to shoot in 4K and everything's got to be in 4K. However, these cameras aren't capable of giving you 120 frames per second uh, in 4K. Now, if you want to pay, you know, five, ten thousand dollars for a camera, maybe you will be able to get the uh, that higher uh, resolution with a higher frame rate. Now, they do have uh, some affordable, more affordable cameras that will give you 4K 60, which could give you uh, slow motion, um, but it's not going to be as slow motion as uh, 120 frames per second. So I did shoot a couple of test shots with the Sony a6400 uh, and I'm gonna show them to you right now. Now I'm gonna show you some examples of the Sony a7R3. See if you can see any differences in the footage. Now, one of the things about the Sony A7R3 versus the Sony A6400 is that I don't necessarily see a very like big difference in uh, the video quality when you're shooting at a higher frame rate. If you are shooting or if you are planning to shoot in slow motion, I don't think that you need to spend the extra money to get the Sony A7R3 uh, versus the Sony A6400 because I think you're gonna be able to get um, pretty close to uh, what you can get with the Sony A7R3. Now, of course, the Sony A7R3 is always gonna have um, a lot higher resolution um, because of the sensor size. Um, it is a full frame camera and different things like that. However, um, I do think with that higher frame rate, you are getting pretty close 
and uh, with the video quality. Now, the, the price difference is a lot different. So, you know, with the Sony A6400, you're talking about, you know, maybe $900 uh, for that. With the Sony A7R3, you're talking about $2,700 um, for that camera. And that's just the body only, not even including the lens. So we are talking about, you know, almost triple the price or triple the price um, just to have a full frame camera. Now, um, the Sony a6400 is really, really good. Uh, I think the video quality is stellar. So they did uh, announce the Sony a6600, um, which I'm not even looking at because it, it, it has some of the function, extra functionalities that I wanted. So the full frame camera, um, it does have, you know, things like video, uh, it does have things like image stabilization, uh, different things like that. And the, the Sony a6600 does have the image stabilization. The Sony a6400 does not. When you're shooting at higher frame rates, you know, image stabilization is not really a factor for the most part, especially if you have like a little bit of a steady hand or if you're on the gimbal, you're not really gonna be able to see uh, much camera shake when you're shooting at those higher frame rates. All right, so the last thing I want to talk about is whenever you import your videos into Premiere Pro, um, you can't just go in there and slap your video in and you know just slow it down to 50% or slow it down to 30% because you're gonna get a choppy video and you don't want choppy video. So I'm gonna take you to the computer and we are gonna show you exactly how to interpret your footage um, from 120 frames per second down to you know 24 frames per second um, to get that awesome buttery smooth slow motion. All right, so I got some footage here that I have um, that I shot in 120 frames per second. So we're gonna take this clip. I'm gonna show you what this clip looks like uh, in 120 frames per second. Let's kind of sped up a little bit. Um, so if you want to interpret your footage that is 120 frames per second to 24 frames per second to slow it down, all you have to do is right click on it right here. Um, you're gonna go to modify interpret footage. Uh, as you can see right here, it is the 119.8 whatever. Um, so you wanna assume this frame rate and you're gonna type in 24 frames per second. And now you have slow motion footage. Smooth slow motion footage. Now, I'm gonna show you another quick little tip real quick. Let's see, this was me just put my glasses on. All right, so I'm gonna put that in the my little timeline here. Now, you will notice that since this is a 4K timeline, I'm actually editing the video that you're watching right now. Uh, but since this is a 4K timeline, um, this is gonna be the difference between 4K and 20 in uh, <clears throat> 1080p. Um, so it may be odd looking. We'll see. I'm gonna go ahead and scale it up uh, to 4K just so you can see it. Um, but you can speed ramp this. Um, so I'm gonna make that kind of big. I go to time interpolation, optical flow, go down to show, <clears throat> clip keyframes, time reef mapping, speed. Um, let's just say that we want to get, let's just say we want to go right here and we want to speed ramp to the time I was actually putting my glasses on. I can click right there. And that's just the little pin tool. All right, so this middle part, you just drag up. You know, I normally just drag it up to a thousand, a thousand percent. And now you kind of have a, uh, a little bit of a speed ramp. Um, another thing that you can, you can do is if you want to um, make that speed ramp where it kind of ramped in, you can uh, click these little things right here and just kind of spread them out. <clears throat> and this right here kind of give it a uh, smoother motion. But you see, that's very, look how when I take my hand off, how smooth that slow motion is. 
All right, that is gonna be it for today, guys. I really appreciate you guys for watching. Uh, if you like these types of videos, please like, share, and subscribe. I really appreciate it. Also hit that bell icon so you can get notifications whenever I release new videos. See you guys on the next one.